loved visiting the JP2 shrine in Krakow, right next to the Divine Mercy shrine. I would say the original shrine of JP2. <laughs> It's like a city of its own. Once you get there, it's like really huge. We also got a tour of the many chapels in the downstairs area of the church, which were all very beautiful and unique and had different meanings. Each chapel kind of meant not just the history, but how it tied with the JP2, so that was really nice. The mosaics and the church itself just are so similar to our John Paul II shrine here in Washington, D.C. They're everywhere in the Rojab, and then each one of them has like a meaning. The mosaics, the art was completely stunning. It was modern but stunning. And my favorite part was uh, seeing the cassock of JP2 of when he was shot. And it was uh, surprisingly a day in which I actually had the opportunity to pray a little more than I, I wanted to in the churches. We went out and took a nice group picture with the JP2 statue. And then the really cool thing is that if you're behind it and you kind of look, he's like kind of pointing straight to the Divine Mercy Chapel, or well, pretty much the whole basilica, so that's really nice. So this was basically the last day of her whole pilgrimage going back to Warsaw to the convent. I remember that day being a little bit sad that the pilgrimage was going to be over because it was so great. I just really grew in holiness through the people who came with me and through the saints and through the places that we visited, the people who we met. But it was good going back to Warsaw because we were able to end where we began with the Sisters of Our Lady of Mercy at their convent and where St. Faustina first entered. And I feel like we really took these sisters with us to DC and we'll always have them with us and just like family. It was really really beautiful to be able to pray in the shrine in Krakow knowing that the next day we would be back at the shrine here in DC and it was really interesting to reflect on the fact that it was really the shrine here in DC that brought us together that enabled us to go on the pilgrimage in the first place. This whole pilgrimage was about mercy and now we can go forth in mercy thanks to St. Faustina, thanks to St. Maximilian Kolbe, and thanks to St. John Paul II.